So, uh, Miguel's come all the way from Oakland, right? Yes. He's been suffering with pain for about 10 years. Okay, initial low back pain. He's gone to several doctors. Yeah. Started, did a chiropractor a couple years ago. Did a bunch of acupuncture kind of stuff. Some mas massage, massage anti-inflammatories. It's just been um, really bad uh, for the past 10, nine years. Yes. Uh, it's gotten on more frequent. Off. Yeah, it's gotten more frequent. On and off, uh, it's been more frequent and it takes a lot longer to for the pain to go away. He's a painter by trade for 30 years. 30 years. And so I always tell people who are painters, and you guys know this if you're painters out there, um, horrible profession for backs and necks because, again, as he talked about the rolling, tell us about the rolling. Yes, everybody who comes in, a new guy, he's... A crappy roller. He's using his lower back to roll. Mm. Tell us what your pain is, sir. Um, it's actually my whole leg from my hip all the way down to my foot and my lower back and my neck. Gotcha. Tell us about your knee, how bad your knee is. Tell us how the pain moves in your knee. I'm kind of curious about that. Um, it, well, it, it, it moves from one side to the other side and then underneath my knee and then to the back. What? When I use yeah. the uh, stick shift car, mm -hmm. uh, I'll end up with my ankle swelling. Since I was 13 years 13 old. 13 years old, migraines, three to four times a week and yes. pretty significant ones. And so he slipped off the roof. Yep. Uh, no, I actually broke the um, uh, galvanized, um, not got the rain guard, rain guard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you flipped off the roof and hit the ground. Yes. Yeah. Tons of arthritis in his back. Uh, he has a, he went to a chiropractor, took an x-ray, but they never told him about a spondylolisthesis. He has a slippage of his bone in his low back. He has a growth in the back of his neck, actually. I put an arrow to that and it's actually a growth in the muscle and that's because he's been suffering for so long. Lots of stuff here, two millimeter left imbalance and massive right thoracic arthritis. Here we have a four millimeter rotated pelvis and constipation here. One half atlas square, arthritis, reverse curve and a huge growth of calcium in the back of his neck. L4 spondylolisthesis and lumbar arthritis. Did you tell Dr. Thayer about your earring? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, he hasn't seen it. I saw it, but I mean, what, what, what is, what is it for? Well, it was, I, I, I did some research on migraines and um, it's said about the ring on, uh, on your ear, it'll um, yeah. go of, down. <laughs> yeah. Like an acupuncture. What does it work? Is it less ring? It did work. It does work. Uh, it, they're not that often anymore, but I still get them. Migraines three or four times a week. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. knee straight, bend over, touch toes best you can. How about pain in your back? Yeah. Sure. Scale of one to ten. About eight. About eight. And the leg. The the back of my knees. Back of your knees. Back this, please. Go back like this. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Gotcha. And then we're back. With your neck, look at the floor, please. Pain there. Nothing. No right? pain. The ceiling. Nothing there, right? A little bit. Two or three. Two or three. Gotcha. Now this is the big one. So we're gonna do first. We're gonna do this way, and then we'll do the chair. Okay. So spread your legs a little bit. Up. Uh, squat, please. He's scared you this. Yeah. How I much pain in your knees, Wait. sir? Right, it's gonna start about five much? right there. About five right there? Any pain in your back when you do this? Yes. How much? Well, the pain is, is there all the time. I know, but how much more is it when he goes down? It increases two or three points. Gotcha. So now let's go up on his toes. He's really, really good at this. So I want you guys to give him a round of applause for business. On your toes. I've never done ballet. Five seconds. Come on. Why is this so hard, sir? Why is it so hard about this? I, isn't, I'm not balanced. I don't. See, five seconds, three, two, one. Mm. Okay, stop, go down. And so do you have any uh, pain in your feet when you do that? My toe. Your little toe? Yeah. Gotcha. And then uh, last one, let's go on the side right here. So try not to, try not to uh, hold this. Just put hands light on here and squat, please. Oh, here's my knee. Yeah, come on up. How much knee pain? Knee pain, five, six. Five, six, gotcha. And the reason I'm telling you this, I'm showing this guy is because I want you to show you how the spine is a closed kinematic chain. I mean, it's all connected from the top to the bottom and to the knees to the ankles. And so everybody goes, well, you're gonna adjust his knee, you're gonna work on his knee, you're gonna look at his knee, you're gonna do his knee. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna work on his neck. How much neck pain he has? Yeah. Pretty much squat. How much low back pain he has? Pretty much the whole world. And the knee pain? Out here too, and I'm only going to adjust his neck because we're going to work on the leverage of his body. We're going to create better balance. He's going to do better, and you guys are going to see us on camera. Yeah, his neck is really tight. Mm. Good. 
What was that like, Miguel? Feels good. Mmm. <laughs> Turn your effing phones off when you come here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please. I'm just gonna help Miguel up here and I'll remind him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. You guys all know this. And so uh, when you do come in and see me, tell me that you know it. I'd love to hear that you've been watching my videos. Let's see how Miguel's doing. Um, the lower back pain is dissipating. Now we're gonna send him down the hall to recalibrate. Let's see again how he's doing. No cane, by the way, guys. I don't need my cane. Are you reading your nose? Damn. Does it feel different already? Heck yeah. Feels very good. Good. Come a long ways. Yes. I'm not gonna let you down. Over here, sir. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go through the range of motions that we did a minute ago, okay? Okay. And don't touch toes, please. Okay, that was an eight a minute ago. What is that now? About uh, three on my... The back of my knees. What about the back? You were an eight back I, here, I, It was not. It, it. Remember, you were an eight back here. No. <laughs> my lower back is, I mean, the little bit. But a one or a two. Is it a little different? Quick, yeah. Go back like this. That was a nine or eight, or I forget what that was, too. Two, three. A little better, huh? Like 70, 80% better? Can I say a bad word? Yeah, shit. Fuck, do it. <laughs> Fuck, yes. Nice, huh? Look at the four, please. Look at the ceiling. That was a two or three a minute ago. No, freaking pain. Okay, now the best one. You are cursing right now. Wait till you curse after this one. Spread your feet a little bit. I still feel my knee. Yeah, how much? Stiff. There's no pain, but I can feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a five a minute ago, a six a minute ago. And you couldn't do it without the chair. I just feel something moving in. No, because you haven't you haven't been down that low in a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. now this will blow your mind too. Stand on your toes. I'm still. Up. That's fine. Just take your time. Oh shit! That's it. Difference. Let's try the one more thing. Let's go. My knee is, it, it, it won't let me go all the way. Fair enough, but that was a five or six again. Oh, there's no pain, there's no pain. Okay, so you're telling the camera that I fixed your knee without even touching your knee. I didn't touch it. Well, you took the pain away. I know, but I did I touch your knee? No. Did I do anything off camera? No, just saw no. It's, everything's no. been right here, right? What did I, what did I treat on you? You touch my neck. I mean, you crack my neck. Anything else I do? No. Bad just, jokes? Few bad jokes? Soak. Thank you. So we got here for a week. Um, I like this guy a lot. I don't usually say that about patients the first day. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you guys got something out of that. I mean, look at how much better he is. I mean, he is in serious pain. And um, he's doing better. Again, we're going to do the video on him. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys next time. Tell us about the setback you had at the store. Um, while browsing for shoes, um, turn to my right and then to my left, and sharp pain, in the lower back, a pinch. But before that, pretty good, right? Yes. Gotcha. The reason I'm having him share this is because we talk about muscle memory constantly, right? And so he did something. I haven't taught him anything yet, but he did something to hurt him. And I say you only learn from, you know, hitting your head against the wall. So you have to learn from pain to a certain extent. So he learns that, okay, that's bad. So we're going to teach him in a few minutes a little posture stuff that's going to help with this. But again, this is good stuff, meaning how does life affect your back? And so he's starting to learn, oh shit, maybe I should have my wife shop for shoes for me in the future. <laughs> People didn't think I was going to draw that conclusion. How much better you are now versus before you saw me yesterday, percentage-wise? 20%, 30%, where do you think you're at? From when... Uh, before I treated you. Before treating you. I'm gonna say about 80%. Oh, really? Okay. I was saying 20 because I thought you were no, gonna say 30. No, I, I'm, I can walk without the cane. So just that, it's amazing. Gotcha, awesome. So uh, I, can, I can 
I enjoy walking again. Let's yeah. put it that way. That's nice, huh? You have orthotics. You told me about orthotics? Yes. And what did I tell you about those? Forget about them. Forget about them. How much you pay for those things? Almost 300 bucks. <laughs> okay. And so how long have you been wearing your orthotics? How long did you wear them for? A couple months? No, a couple of years. A couple of years? And how was your back beat when you wore those orthotics? It was on and off. So all you guys are going to say, what do you mean orthotics are bad? Well, he had them for years, yet he still had to go out of his way to come see me. Yes. So what's the truth? Orthotics, waste of money. Go this way. Mm. I went to um, see the doctor um, on the PA again, because uh, being back and forth to, to her, and um, every time I go in there uh, with pain somewhere, um, she asked me if, I think it was, it's gout. She asked him if he she thinks it's gout. Me. Yes. <laughs> uh, Not that she says it is. And she, and she already had um, prescribed me uh, gout medicine. Hey, Dr. Thayer here with Miguel, and uh, this is the end of his first week. Uh, he's decided to stay another week. He's going to go home, be with his family next weekend, oh, this weekend, I mean, and come back next week. Uh, he has a seven, six, seven hour drive back home. And so he's gonna flip it on Sunday and come back down here on Monday or something like that. We thought about Monday morning. Monday morning. Yeah. And so um, I think he really needs it. He sees the benefit of what we've done over the week. So I'm gonna turn it over to him and show and let you guys hear why he's here and how he's done and why he's picked the second week. So get, share us with that, please. Share that with us. So the pain was intense um, um, before I came here. Uh, the first adjustments was an improvement, a life improvement, and. Uh, I'm at eighty percent right now of That's being 80 myself. Eighty percent of being myself. I don't think I'll ever be a hundred percent myself. You know. I can't wait next week now. Now we'll find out if he's better than eighty percent next week. So you guys just see. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. But I mean, I'm thinking twenty years younger, not. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're thinking the statement we just had a minute ago. <laughs> Young, dumb, and exactly. <laughs> You want to be that guy again, right? I do, but you know, time <laughs> no, doesn't time's go no, back. No, no, no. We, we live at a wonderful age. We're at a good age right now. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, tell us how uh, this week's gotten better. And so tell them why did you decide to stay another week? Because they all want to know why. Hey, Dr. Thayer just wants money. <laughs> and he's, he's a greedy piece of shit. Why did you I decide to I think you to stay? want money too, but... Oh, come on. No, um, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> no. No, but... I mean, we all work. We all, we for all work for a living, right, exactly. Yeah. But uh, why did you stay? I'm kind of curious. Well, the thing is that I, I know if I don't come back, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go back to where I was, and I don't think I can afford that. So we've been adjusting him in the chair. Uh, next week we're gonna start in the Atlas on Monday, and so uh, you get to see the differences in the two different adjustments. Um, this is working on his shoulders to get the the base of his neck to relax and loosen up so the scar tissue will be less so he has better um, softness to his shoulders, better range of motion in his neck. Also next week we're going to work on his posture more, where his head should be, where his body should be, so you guys get to witness all that stuff by next week. Okay, so The hard part of my work is guys is muscle memory, trying to train somebody to do something that they've never done before. And so the thing I love about what he said, this is a sort of a basic home run here, is that he's starting to become hyper aware of the things we teach him has good effects and bad effects. And so by finding that marriage, that balance, he'll start to feel and own his own treatment. Here come this way. Excellent. Is that making your left ear ring again? Yes. Crazy. He, every time I adjust his left lower um, cervical bone, he has this kind of pressure that goes up in here. Yeah. How about that? That feels good. <laughs> I guess I'm not on the right spot. Keep pushing it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it was awesome to be back home, by yeah. the way. Um, see my wife and <clears throat> Keith. Yeah, absolutely. But how'd you feel? Um, I started to do some a little bit of work. Um, uh, unload my truck and uh, a little bit of walking and I had a setback uh, when my right knee started to pinch <clears throat> and I knew it was because I was walking the wrong way 
but it's it's kind of hard to to know how to walk. Exactly, but I taught you how to do. I taught you one thing. So what did you do yes. when you had the pain? You did what? To I reduce stopped the pain? and uh, and went back to uh, the monkey style, which is a thing we teach here, guys, in posture. Okay. How was that dog? Oh, that wasn't bad. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you built it up more than you thought, huh? Well, it's 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 bad when I'm sitting down because something shoots up on my left side. Mm -hmm. Well, this should hurt a lot more then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me a Ooh. Yeah, that hurts. Yep. Let's see, I don't lie around here, guys. I tell the truth. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you tell them what you're feeling it right now? It feels cold on my left side. Gotcha. Very cold. Up into your head up here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So obviously we did, we hit something that needs to be hit. We've adjusted them for an entire week. Um, five times, right? No, seven times. Seven times last week and then uh, never had this sensation. Now we adjust his atlas. This is what specific chiropractic looks like. So we can adjust around it and we can now we hit right on it and this is what's happening. Major change. You guys just witnessed that. Um, and he took a back step. And so this happens because uh, like I said, when you open up the atlas, you open up great reward and sometimes great risk. And so he's trying to take his treatment to the next level on his own. So he's moving and doing things and and escalating things when things get a little out of control. So we're gonna, this is gonna be a learning moment for him. So he's like, do you really wanna do a video? Well, I like to show you guys what really happens here, okay? Not everybody's like this, but um, but again, truth is truth. It's not always a straight line, okay? And we learn from our mistakes, okay? So um, just tell us how you've been doing this week so far and what happened last night. I was, I was doing awesome and then um, yesterday afternoon walking, I felt my left knee uh, like the muscles were moving differently and then um, I got into my car, drove to the hotel and uh, it got really stiff, my knee with a little bit of pain only. Squat, just what you can do. I don't think I can do just that. Just do it if you can. My left knee. How much pain? Actually, right there. That's How much? About five. About a five, good. So if you look back, even though he's complaining this bad, he's still a shitload better than he was the first day. Okay. This way. Good, come here. Mm. Yeah. See how sensitive, sensitive that is? Yeah. Is that more or less than yesterday? It's just freezing my head. Gotcha. Mm. And so he has had the same reaction each time we do it. Mm. We want to see where it's at. That was a five a minute ago. There's no pain, but I can't go in. I just want to know the difference. Just keep it simple. There was five before pain. Is there five pain now? No. No, so it's zero now, right? Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And so he has had to have this extra work up here because, um, because when I adjust him, you can see the reaction to his, his adjustment just really, really strong. And that reaction is what I said earlier, is that it makes him alter everything. So we gotta calm things down just a little bit. Go and stand up again. I'm a little dizzy. He's been taking a lot of drugs for pain over the years. He doesn't realize how much it's been years. interrupting. Yes. How much it's interrupting his uh, way of feeling and how he's changed his body. And he doesn't realize there's even pain when he does things wrong because he's so drugged up. And so this week he's been off drugs. Yes. So and so his body is starting to come back. And so it's coming back and he's feeling different things. So that's an interesting thing. The interesting thing about him, again, is that because he's off the medication, he's also mentally, he's a little more panicky. He's a little more anxiety. And that's set in because now he's feeling things he hasn't felt in a long time. So, again, really big learning thing. What do you think, sir? It's it's been good. Uh, it's been good. I've been up and down. Um, 
I thought I was a lot better last week. I thought I was a lot better last week, and then I didn't have any drugs. Uh, I wasn't taking any uh, ibuprofen, not drugs. Ibuprofen, six six hundred milligrams. I guess I was withdrawing from uh, the medicine. Again, you guys take a lot of medication out there, and we got to get you off the medication. You come out here, so again, medication covers crap up. It doesn't fix anything so some of you guys have been doing this stuff for so long you don't even realize that it's hurting you not helping you yes. and so when you start to come out here we need to get you off the medication as fast as possible why because we need to actually feel your body again yeah. so that we make corrections we know what's right we know what's wrong how is this week different than last week not, not talking about the medication where do you think you're at this whole process because i'm kind of curious um, he's happy of course but right I'm now curious. right now i'm freaking feeling awesome because Good, gotcha. i can finally feel my body and i can feel um, I don't feel pain anywhere. Um, I know I'm not 100% because I know I've been doing shit wrong for so long that if uh, I don't correct that, it's gonna take me back to where I was. But I, I, without the um, the medication, I can finally feel and and cor try to correct that. Sciatic right now, there is no. There's okay, no, last week you said you're 80%. So you said it's gone now. Yeah. The left knee. Last week you were better on it. Now it's worse this week. Now it's back. Tell us where you're at with the knee overall. The knee. It's no. Tell us percentage improvement. Yes. Um, well, improvement is it's probably eighty percent again. But again, I don't have any drugs in me, so yeah, that means so, a lot. Left ankle. Oh, there's no problems there. Okay, that was a problem. And then what about migraines, headaches this week? I haven't got any. Weeks. I haven't got any for the past two weeks that I've been here. And he was a three to four times a week migraine guy. Okay, turn to the left front face, turn, turn. Let's turn some more. Extra kiss on him. Mm. To distract him. That's that's it. Um, thank you very much for No, absolutely.